Hi everyone, it's me. So what is pantomime and why won't it go away? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living in the Southeast of England for the last six years now. And for almost that entire time, people on the internet have been asking me to react to classic British pantomime. And I've always said, absolutely not. But today it is a Christmas miracle because we're gonna be watching some pantomime, so get ready. If you like this video and you wanna watch more videos about a foreigner's experience in the UK, it'd be really cool if you could subscribe. Just saying, also, Merry Christmas. This is my fallout jumper, all right? Don't judge. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go. Okay, so to start off, we have a classic panto fun with Andy Ford and Eric Potts. Let's enjoy, shall we? I was in the wings waiting to come on and I was chatted up by one of the dancers, Mum. You were being chatted up? Yeah. A. Yeah. You. Me. A. A. You. Me. <laughs> What's her name? Um, David. David. <laughs> you stop that nonsense. What? We've got to start baking for our long voyage. Mm. I'm going to make one of my world's famous sausage pies. These pies are brilliant. Good, you can come and help me. Oh, do I have to, Mum? Yes, you do. Mamma mia. Here we go again. My, my. How oh, can you resist me? It's like living in it for a bit musical. <laughs> now, the first thing we need is some dough. Money, money, money. Not that kind of dough. An abba too far. Now, get me a little flour. A little flour. Yes. A little flour. A little flour. Oh, not that kind of flour, love. No. Oh, Self-raising flour. Right. <laughs> oh. This is not just thrown together. This is brilliant. Oh, right. You see them eggs? Yeah. Okay. Here's something um, for us watching that really don't understand Panto. First off, huh? Second off, anytime I have mentioned pantomime in previous videos, um, a lot of British people watch my videos. Thank you so much. And the opinion is always very divided. Some people say Panto is just for kids. Maybe you go to one at Christmas with the kids and they, you know, it's obviously very exaggerated. It's very over the top. It's very silly. It's just for the kids. However, that is not the only opinion. On the other side, you get people saying that Panto is really only for the adults. And you know, there's lots of innuendos and sort of, you know, a bit inappropriate. It's really just for the adults. So me, a foreigner, I'm just like, I don't understand. So far to me, it just seems like a children's play. It's very theatrical, very over the top, very silly. There's a little bit of humor for the adults. Um, but overall, it's just very kiddish or childish or, you know, aimed at kids. However, I'm, I am sure that there are, um, someone was mentioning like, I don't want to say R-rated pantomimes, but adult pantomimes. I'm just, I'm just really confused. Let's get, let's give this one just a couple more minutes. Separate them. Well. Separate them. All right. <laughs> I've been seeing other eggs. I hate you. Don't leave me too late. But, oh, damn. Honest man. That, that's not right. No. No. Forgive me. I love you. Back together. Oh. Mm. I will never get this pie made with you around. Go and get me sausages. Get some flipping sausages. Now, where's that pie crust I made earlier? I got the sausages, Mum. Oh, good. Are they fresh? Are they fresh? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, they are a bit perky. Never mind, love. I've got some sausages already here in the bake. How place. convenient. Now, we place the pastry on top of the sausages. That's a good idea. Oh! Oh, uh. mm. Uh, we place the pastry on top of the sausages. All right, here we go. Ah! No! Hold it down, Jack. Hold it down. <laughs> Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> Come on, no. No! <laughs> now, we place the pastry on top of the sausages. Hello, the... No! Oh, I've had enough of this. Mm. Jack. Go and get the rolling pin. Rolling pin? Where would I get a rolling pin? Oh, Never mind. This'll do. Yeah. Oh. 
rolling pin in my possession. <laughs> now, when I nod my head, <laughs> you're way ahead of us, you know. Just... When, I... when I nod my head, you hit it. <gasps> this is what you paid your money for! Come on! Pardon? When I... <laughs> when I nod my head, <laughs> you hit it. Okay. <laughs> ah! yeah, thank you! Thank you! Oh. You guys, like I mentioned, over the top, silly, a little bit of innuendo for the adults. Perhaps this is maybe more of a aimed at children panto rather than some of the more mature pantos out there. It's really hard to tell. Now, I guess we do have to talk about panto traditionally has a lot of cross dressing in it, um, you know, to me, this feels very, I don't want, can I say outdated? And I'm sure that most people watching Panto probably agree, but I think there's a big portion of it that is nostalgia, right? If you watch that as a kid growing up, then you know, you have a soft spot for Panto. As someone who had none of that, I watch this and I go, huh? Now, this particular clip is from a performance from 2016. So while watching these, you might think, oh, you know, this is from a different time. <laughs> you know, humor was different. No, um, this particular one is from 2016. So let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. I said, hello, everybody! Yeah! Oh, fabulous, nice to meet you all. Now, my name is Dame Trot, and I live on my farm here in Crumble Town with my two sons, Jack and Silly Billy. But look, I have to tell you, we're terribly poor. Aww. Oh, come on, we're poorer than that? Aww. Yes, we're so poor that if we want to see a pantomime, we have to go to Chatham. Ooh. It's a Ooh. <laughs> Them fighting words. Oh, that's a problem, you see. We just can't make ends meet and we've tried everything. We had a sponsorship deal with Duracell. It was a battery farm. We tried rearing the animals on baked beans. It was a wind farm. We even employed Donald Trump. But he wanted the pigs to build a wall to keep the sheep out. And that's Animal Farm. And now, to make matters worse, we're down to our very last cow. Aww. Yes. We used to have a whole herd, but now the rest of them present loose women. And to be honest with- Okay, so I don't, I don't know who this is for. And maybe people in the comments, please leave your opinion. Again, is it for children? Because it's very over the top and, you know, silly and all that kind of stuff. And yet some of the jokes, I don't think a child is gonna understand a joke about Donald Trump. I just, I don't see it happening. And yet here we are. So I think that's one of the, the most confusing parts about pantomime is who is it for? And maybe it depends on which one you see. You know, they have different audiences. I'm not really sure. I just can't, I can't imagine going to this production you know, as an adult with no children, I, I just don't know. All right, how about we try one more? This is a Jack in the Beanstalk Christmas Panto, apparently from 1998. So we're going back in time for this one. Um, it's interesting looking at the comments. Um, a lot of them are, you know, I really miss this kind of stuff. I didn't get to see it when it was on TV. There's a, a hilarious amount of sexual innuendo for a children's panto. The best part of a British Christmas is another one. So if you love a British Christmas panto, more power to you. I don't fully understand just yet, but maybe I need to actually like see one in person 
you know, to get the full appeal. I'm not sure, but let's give this one a try. Good evening. Thank you much, ladies and gentlemen. I am your narrator for this evening. All right. <laughs> Many years ago, somewhere in England, I'm sorry, I can't be more specific. <laughs> villagers were bringing their wares to market. Everybody would gather from respectable gentry in their baubles and finery to, well, scum, frankly. <laughs> and his mother Dolly had come several miles to sell their wares. Jack was a cheerful fellow, though some mistook his good cheer for stupidity. Look! <laughs> carts! People! Sign! <laughs> Bottoms! <laughs> and you can see their point. Right, here we go! Get your carrots! Individually hand-reared! Two for the price of two! <laughs> Jack's mother, a widow since his father died in childbirth... <laughs> Don't ask, it's a long story. She loved Jack dearly, though obviously he could be a bit irritating. What are these big green ones called again? Oh. <laughs> carrots! Get your lovely carrots! Amusingly shaped! Ooh! And just arrived, a marrow! <clears throat> The harvest had been bad. It hadn't rained since piggyback week. And to make matters worse, the local soil was very poor. In fact, it was so poor, technically, it was dirt. <laughs> the bad harvest was blamed on the giant who lived up in his own kingdom in the sky and terrified everybody. He was 80 feet high. In metres, that's, um, well, 80 minus uh, 1 plus uh, 2 from the top and 1 from the bottom, please, Carol. That's, um, it, well, that's very high. That's very high indeed. <laughs> And if he ever managed to find a way down, he could squelch a human being under his foot, which was bad news, as he had several massive verrucas. <laughs> well, we obviously need some help, don't we? Can we have the house lights up, please? Oh, blimey, what a bunch. All right, you'll have to do. Um, now then, uh, you, and you in the middle there, yeah? And you up there, yeah, out. We don't need your sort of earlier. <laughs> Now, the rest of you, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> yes, well, that was fairly humiliating, wasn't it? <laughs> All I'm looking for... Okay, I gotta say, this one, this one, I, I can, I can, I like this one. It's so funny to see the narrator. I watch him on TV all the time, although this is like 1998 version of him, so that's really cool. And the jokes, again, it's kind of that cross between a children's pantomime, it's very over the top, big costumes, silly, but some of the jokes, you know, they make you smile, they do make you chuckle. All right, I'll give it that. This one, I think, 1998, I would have loved to have seen this. So what is a British Christmas pantomime? It's really hard to say. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. It's coming up to Christmas, Christmas time, Christmas jumper, mulled wine, Maybe it's gonna be a mulled wine kind of day. If you have lasted this long in the video, thank you so much. And I would love to know, how would you describe a panto to someone who has never seen one? I think that would be really fun. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.